Okay, we are still considering the verse. And there it is. Now, you cannot, without any intellectual integrity, make a literal interpretation of any words pulled from another society, another culture, another language, and another millennium. You need some social and historical context. And even then, people are going to disagree. But two words have been the cause of such angst that have been wrongly interpreted from the original Greek are malakoi, or malakos, and ariankotai, or arsenankotois, and I know I mispronounced those words horribly, but forgive me. Malakos means soft. This could mean soft in terms of one's self-discipline, Synonyms might also include wanton, unrestrained, self-indulgent, loose morals, given to passions, lack of self-control, or not firm in one's belief. It might also refer to effeminate callboys, those who left the early pederastic relationships to make money from the sexual act, or male prostitutes. Arsenokoi tes refers to exploitations by sexual means. This could mean rape, child abuse, pederasty, sex by economic coercion, pimping, visiting prostitutes, or kidnapping for sexual slavery. This puts a little bit different spin on 1 Corinthians 6, 9 through 10. Further, it must be put in the context of the entire book, more specifically, the chapter that precedes it. You see, in 1 Corinthians 5, 9 through 11, Paul is making a list of vices that gradually expands. Each list starts with sexually immoral and expands outward. And all three lists contain the word greedy. Now, help me out. Riddle me this, Batman. Is any attention given to greed in our current society? Is not capitalism built on greed and the desire to earn profits? Was it not greed that led to the great economic collapse of 2008 that created so much misery for so many? And even though greed and swindlers are mentioned three times, the focus seems to be on the misinterpretation of two words mentioned just once. Why is that?